It may seem like our country has never been more divided, that we the people just can't get together on issues of racial discrimination or police reform or politics in general. Well, we went to Caledonia today where a recent rally and a video that went viral threatened to deepen the divide. On June 6th, during a civil rights rally in Caledonia, store owner Rick McKay was videotaped walking down Main Street carrying a gun. Should I send my kids home? Not really. You're scaring me, though. A truce between Mr. McKay and any of the protesters seemed unlikely, if not impossible. Put the gun away, man. You got a problem? I have a problem with you carrying a gun. I got a problem with them son of a wrecking my store, okay? Who's gonna wreck your store? You haven't seen New York City? Caledonia like native Katie Reed, who is biracial, spoke at that rally. The saying white privilege does not mean your life hasn't been hard. It means that your skin color was not one of the things that made it harder. The rally was peaceful, but this video went viral and caused anger and division in this small town. And it could have ended there. Hard feelings left to fester, but it didn't end there. I have been judged because of the way I look, um, you know, and I, I just, I understand the importance of not doing that to other people. This week, a local pastor and a couple who know both Katie Reed and Rick McKay arranged for the two of them to meet. You know, when you really sit down and take the time to listen to people and ask questions and understand where they're coming from, Oftentimes, you find that you have more in common than you think. And I just came away with a different kind of point of view. There are certain things that need to uh, change. Um, but everybody always wants to jump to conclusions. And I also wanted him to understand where I was coming from, because there are a lot of people in this town that think that, you know, we're part of the Black Lives Matter, you know, organization, and that we are anti-police, and that's just not the case. Rick McKay and Katie Reed are not likely to vote for the same person for president in November. Yet, here they are, talking. And that's the point. I walked away feeling like I had found a friend. I told her, if uh, anybody messes with you, and it comes to a point where you need somebody, to, an ally. Well, politics have nothing to do with it, you know? I mean, yeah, she doesn't like Trump, but um, it has nothing to do with it. But she seems to like you. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's her fault. The back of Rick McKay's pickup leaves little doubt about how he feels about some things. But since meeting Katie, he has covered over a Confederate flag sticker. It had not offended him in the past, but he knows now it offends her. You know, you can teach diversity, you can teach history, but when you sit down and you form a relationship with someone that gets you to open your heart, that's when you open your mind and, and you really are open to changing. Now, Katie didn't take that video, but when she saw it, she knew she wanted to have a conversation with the man in it. Turns out he was more than willing to talk, and by doing that, they found some common ground and each made a friend.